You have probably heard that omega-3s are essential for brain health. Your doctor might have even told you to take fish oil. But did you know that most omega-3s in supplements never make it to your brain? Here's the problem. Not all omega-3s take the same path to the brain. Some get lost in digestion. Some get stored as fat. And only one form is designed across the blood-brain barrier efficiently. Do you know which one? Why do most omega-3s fail to reach the brain? It's because the different forms of omega-3s are literally different molecules, and the body treats each one differently. Think of it like this. If the blood-brain barrier is like a gate agent at a sporting event, the omega-3 fatty acids are the fans that want to get into the stadium for the big event. We all know there are different types of fans. Omega-3s in free fatty acid form are the fans without a ticket. They show up, but security won't let them in. Omega-3s in free fatty acid form must be taken with food, so if you take it on an empty stomach, you are wasting all of it. Omega-3 fatty acids that are in triglyceride form are like a massive dedicated mob. They have a chance of getting in, but only if enough of them push through together. This is why you often hear that people should take three or four grams of fish oil for cognitive support. The blood-brain barrier will not allow triglycerides to cross, but it can be overwhelmed. You might be wondering, I take fish oil, is it triglyceride or free fatty acid? Many fish oil supplements don't clearly identify the form on the label, especially when the omega-3s are in the free fatty acid form. This is the information supplement companies don't want you to know. Phospholipids are another form of omega-3s. Phospholipids are the fans with tickets, but they still have to go through security screening, they still have to remove their belt and shoes, and it slows them down some. A study in Nature identified the critical transporter that transports DHA across the blood-brain barrier, the MFSD2A receptor. This study also identified the specific omega-3 that is actually transported across the blood-brain barrier into the neuron, lysophosphatidylcholine or LPC. Security literally grabs LPC by the hand and escorts it through the line, through the membrane, and into the neuron. This is probably a good time to point out that not all omega-3 supplements are meant for brain health. The takeaway is, and for the first time ever, there's an omega-3 specifically targeted for brain health. I would not be surprised if in 10 years from now, LPC is the only omega-3 fatty acid taken for brain health. Omega-3 fatty acids are essential nutrients. They are nature's building blocks for the neuron. 